And Eric, there's a news conference less than 30 minutes from now in a lawyer's office nearby announcing the intent to file the first lawsuit on behalf of one of the victims of Sunday's shooting here. And as you mentioned, we are learning a lot more about the gunman thanks to paperwork that was filed during the parents' divorce uh, last uh, about 10 years ago. The gunman, David Katz, was hospitalized twice in psychiatric, psychiatric facilities as a teenager. He was prescribed meds for mental disorders. He was said to play video games till four in the morning, went days without bathing, was failing all of his classes, and fought often with his mother. Police called to the home at least 20 times. Police also say he bought those two handguns legally earlier this month from a licensed dealer in Baltimore, along with extra ammo and a laser sight. When he lost in that Madden 19 video game qualifying tournament, he left the venue and came back minutes later, passing other customers to target players in the back room using one of the guns to shoot 12 and kill two before killing himself. The FBI and other law enforcement searched Katz's father's home in Baltimore for clues into why the young man snapped. Both parents said to be cooperating. Uh, Jacksonville Landing here is reopening today, and EA Sports last night, Eric, announced that it's canceling the next three Madden qualifying tournaments while it reviews its security protocol. Eric. And meanwhile, Rick, what do we know more uh, are we learning about the victims? Well, the one victim who was in serious condition has been upgraded to good condition. Several people have been released from the hospital, and all of those who were wounded are expected to be okay. Uh, but of course, as you mentioned, two people were fatally shot here. Uh, they were 28-year-old Taylor Robertson, and 22-year-old Elijah Clayton, both gamers, both played high school football. Clayton's cousin says he left behind six brothers and three sisters. My cousin has to bury her firstborn. And it is just as terrible as that sounds. Our family has been forever changed. Nothing will replace the love that we have for Elijah. There is a hole that will never be filled. She said Elijah loved football and had never been even in a fist fight, Eric. Just so, so incredibly sad and tragic. Rick, thank you.